Hey everyone, so a couple of days ago, I put up a Lord Killian video about bias in AI, which, as I said, is in fact a problem. And I gave some uh, examples of what I had found that was similar to what DeepD over at Runway had found about AI being biased, and you put in doctor, and it shows you stuff like this. It shows you, you know, basically older guys with gray hair. Just to show it to you, I'm going to get a few more of these. We'll do three more. And this model that I'm using, I'm not using Runway. I'm using Realistic Stock Photo V10, which is uh, an SDXL model, Stable Diffusion XL. And this might be running a little slow because I'm recording it as well, and the GPU doesn't have... Uh, they're, they're probably going to be finding for it. Hopefully the recording comes through well, but you can see what it's doing now. In fairness, I use other models, like there's uh, an SD 1.5 model I've been using for a long time called Cyber Realistic. You generally don't quite get as good results with those as you do with SDXL, but I did notice that with that one, with Dr. I was getting a uh, more... See, now it's going to get me younger, guys, as soon as, I, as soon as I try to demonstrate it. But um, Cyber Realistic was giving me a bigger variety of you know, females and different races and things like that. So a lot of this is going to depend on the model. Realistic stock photo seems to give you kind of that same bias thing. It does look like I'm at least getting white guys, even if they're not all older for some reason. But we want to be more inclusive in that. And I have a completely different point of view on that than Deep D as I saw. Wait a minute, are you going? All right, my camera flaked out on me. You have not been seeing me, and I apologize for that. <laughs> I apologize deeply. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, hopefully that's our thing that's gone wrong for today. You haven't missed much, just my mug on the screen as we uh, get these mugs on the screen. So anyway, uh, you see what it's doing? And I might speed up some of these because, as you see, it takes about 20 or 30 seconds for it to generate one. But that's what it's giving me. And so from Deep D's point of view, we want a greater variety of things because we want to be more inclusive. From my point of view, as a user of the software, I want a greater variety of things because when I'm doing this and I'm just wanting to you know, get a good base to start from that I can build my art off of, I want to say, you know, give me you know, five, ten of these, whatever, and I can look through and find them. But if they're all basically the same, you know, if they're all white guys with gray hair or whatever, you're not giving me much of a variety to work with. So anyway, I posted that video, and you guys remember Fourth Root. He's great. He's been in the live stream a couple of times. He did those Thunderfoot videos with me on the Hyperloop, which, <laughs> it's amazing. They still come and go, hey, 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 how's the Hyperloop doing now? Well, yeah, see, the Hyperloop doesn't work. Well, tell that to everyone in the world who's building them. Yeah. So anyway, he came in and was just like, you know, this is just what, you know, it's what statistically you have. And I'm like, well, no, that's statistically what you have in America. And I pointed out that, like, if you're in India and you go to the doctor, probably going to be an Indian. If you're in Japan and you go to the doctor, I wouldn't be at all surprised if your doctor was Japanese. So there we go. So. He had the idea of putting it in different languages. And that's what I want to try here, because these last few we got, and here's the ones I got just before I turned on the camera, see more gray-haired guys there. His idea was to put in, instead of like typing in Japanese doctor, which you can do, what happens if you put in the word in its native language instead of English? So if doctor is associated with doctors in the English-speaking world, maybe that's the case here because that's the representation among the training data, which, as I said, should probably have been curated a little better. And in some models, it appears to have been, like cyber-realistic. But I asked Google Translate. And uh, I'm going to start with Indian because DeepD's Indian. I'll give a 
little nod to her. The Hindi word for doctor is Chikitsak. Chikitsak. That's what Google Translate says it is. If that's wrong, then don't blame me. I'm just gonna pop that in there. So now we've got stock photo of the word doctor in Hindi. Everything else is the same. It's going to show his face because if not, it a lot of times has a chance to show the, the chest area. We got the white lab coat. We got the stethoscope. We got the stuff. We got the negative prom. So it hopefully isn't too much nightmare fuel. Let's do a few of those. And I'll probably speed these up in post to, to make you not wait so long. And by the way, just FYI, what I'm using is uh, Invoke AI. I think it might just be Invoke now. This is open source, so I'll put a link to that below, and I'll also put a link to the, the realistic stock photo. Okay, so what did I get? It looks to me like I got Indian doctors. Yeah, I got three of them. Two are women, one are men. He's kind of rocking the beard there. Notice they're also a little younger. Not too many gray hairs on them. I guess that's just because of the training data, because when you have the Hindi word for doctor, what was it, chikitsak? Because that's the, that's the kind of photos that it's going to be associated with, and not the word doctor. So let's try it in Japanese. Hey, Google Translate, what is the Japanese word for physician? Ishi. Ishi. Is she or isn't she? All right, let's try that. Do we get Japanese doctors? Kind of thinking we might. Okay, this last one kind of flaked out on me. You put the word face in the prompt to make sure it gets the face, but then sometimes it doesn't give you the face. But two other times, I got Japanese doctors. Again, kind of young. They're both male, but when I did this before, I think that might have been... Oh, that was the time it... Maybe I didn't get it. Am I not getting female doctors when I look at Japanese doctors? That, that might be a weird thing. But I put it in Japanese. I get Japanese doctors. Let's try one more. Let's try it in Arabic. Tabibun. Tabibun. Okay, that's Arabic for doctor. Let's uh, do a stock photo of a Taibibun. That's how Google Translate is pronouncing it, so that's how I'm pronouncing it. And hopefully this won't mess up with the left to right, right to left thing. But we'll see what we get. Theoretically, should be getting Arabic doctors. And there we go. I'll buy that these are Arabic doctors. Nice beards, too. Yeah. Arabic doctors with a beard. I wonder how many Arabic doctors actually have a beard. Is that kind of a standard thing? Most Arabic men have beards, I guess. I don't know. Or what? For whatever reason, that's in the training data. So what if you want one without a beard? Where would you be then? But this is what I'm talking about. When, you, when you're working with this, you want to try to get a variety because you want when you're, uh, even when you're, when you're starting off like this or even when you're doing in painting or work, working with touch-ups in the unified canvas, you want to say, okay, give me three, four, five, however many options. And if those options are all kind of the same, then are they really options? So, um, I think this is a question, and I don't know if there's a right or wrong answer to this. It's going to be very context-driven based on, you know, wherever your prompts have put you in the latent space. It's just moved you to where doctors are, you know, old white guys or Arabic guys with a beard. Or they all have blue ties. Too. I keep seeing this blue tie thing. Coming up. Some of them are red ties, but most of the ones that have ties have blue ties. That might just be a realistic stock photo thing. But yeah, I mean, there's like, well, here's one with a red tie. But yeah, it's just weird. The kind of things that it just doesn't, it just really wants to gravitate towards in the latent space. So 
that's what it's doing when you put in doctor in all these different languages. It's just moving you into that part of the latent space. And so the question is, should it? I mean, if you're just, if you're a native Hindi speaker and you're typing all of this in Hindi, it's going to give you Indian doctors. Is that what you want? Or are you going to want the whole world of doctors to choose from? Do you want to limit yourself just because you're not writing in English? I mean, yeah, you can always specify it with an adjective, but do you really just want the language you're using to have such a limited effect on on the results you're getting? And I mean, I guess you could have one or of two schools of thought of that, which is if you're writing this in Hindi, then you're probably an Indian in India, and it might make sense to give you Indians. On the other hand, I think there's an argument to be made that let the user kind of specify where in the latent space they want to go and just make all of these doctors, because they're all doctors. They are all doctors. All of these fake people I generated, they're not really doctors, they're not really anything, they're, they're fake people, but they, they comprise the universe of what is encapsulated in the word doctor or physician or whatever. And whatever it is, uh, Chikitsak, Ishi, uh, whatever the other one is, uh, in whatever language you're working with. So when they train these things, maybe they should take the text and run translations on them to get that same text in different languages. So that you're going with the concept of the word itself and not biasing it based on particulars like the language you type it in or, you know, whatever other context you're working in. I don't know if there's a right or wrong way to do that. And the beauty of it is different models can do it different ways. And as I pointed out, some models like Cyber Realistic do seem to give you a much more diverse array than a realistic stock photo. But, you know, different models trained in different ways in different concepts can do different things. But again, I think the main point still stands that you don't really want to do it the way Deepti was talking about. Because she's just artificially injecting her own idea of what should be in the model, but not by, it's just by, it's just by reinforcing what's already in the model. So like if you get weird things like blue ties or hands with six fingers, like I think this guy has one, two, three, four, yeah. Presumably he has a thumb around there, so this guy has six fingers. You get weird stuff like that. Well, what if in all of these ones that you generate, there are people in there with six fingers or three fingers or, you know, their eyes are off or whatever? Well, aren't you just you know, putting that into the training data some more so that it makes it even harder to fix those things? So that's the problem. That's the issue. But I thought this was interesting that you can actually put it in in different languages and just force it into a different area of the latent space and get the diversity of things you want, or just use an adjective. Adjectives can be uh, an issue, though, because you can have adjective bleed, which is where, like, if you say, uh, give me a picture of a girl sitting on a sofa, it's a girl sitting on a sofa, you say that the girl has red hair and it makes the sofa red, and green eyes and it makes her dress green. And so it, it just kind of that adjective bleed gets over into other things. So if you say Japanese doctor, might make the doctor Japanese. You might also see Tokyo outside of the window. Or see other things like, like a Japanese writing on the wall, even though you would want them to be in America with English writing on the wall. So uh, that's the... Did I get any writing? Does this one have writing? There's nothing you can read. Some of them, it, it won't be real Japanese, but it would be like fake. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah, this guy. This guy was a Japanese doctor. And, uh, of course, it was in the Japanese language, so maybe that's where I got it from. But you notice that he has a whole bunch of Japanese characters above his pocket. That's the kind of thing you might get. Even though you might want this guy to be American and have it be in English.
That's weirdness, and that's the kind of thing we really need to try to get away from and not reinforce more of. And that's why I think that uh, the, the whole idea of the Google Gemini way, um, the deep de way at runway, that's why I think that's the wrong idea, uh, the wrong way to do it. Because when you're actually using it, getting utility out of it, then it's going to make it harder to get you what you want. Thank you so very much for watching. Comments for the common God, shares for the share throne. Please hit like, subscribe, and the bell. And as always, donate.bogosity.tv. Keep these videos coming. Keep the, all of uh, everything that uh, I do doing, because <laughs> that's what it's all about. I got to kind of squeeze this in in the morning before some other stuff. The more that I can get in, because I don't make a lot with the ads, the more I can get in like that, the more of these I can do, because otherwise I'm like, do I really want to squeeze this in in the morning? Well, yeah, I do, if I get good amounts of support from you. So there you can do PayPal, Venmo, cryptocurrency, become a regular supporter at Patreon and subscribe star. Get these videos early and ad free. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, stay strong and be free.